You can't help but notice the melting snow on streets and yards because of warming temperatures, but it's hard to tell when the ice on ponds and lakes is thick enough to safely walk on. The DNR will tell you four inches is needed, but threat of a rescue has first responders training for when that call comes. Local 5's Connor O'Neill saw firsthand how they train in the harshest of conditions. The hole in the water at Terra Lake and Johnson behind me, it's not for ice fishing. It may be for something you might not have heard of before. It's for what the local fire district calls ice rescue training. It's all about the right equipment. From sleds to floaties, the Johnston Grimes Metropolitan Fire District trained Friday on the frozen Terra Lake in Johnston. Yeah, it's a really fun training. It's a, it's a unique experience being able to go out in freezing water but still be warm and have the ability to float. Floating in the frigid water in ice rescue suits until it's time to get pulled out. With a little help, of course, from the team. All the district's firefighters endured the chilly training this week to prepare for any potential winter rescues. People tend to venture out on ice. We need to make sure that our responders are ready because uh, anybody can fall through the ice at any time, and we need to make sure that we're ready to get them out if it happens. These trainings are also used to potentially rescue any animals who may fall through ice as well. An animal falls through ice, and then an owner or a concerned citizen will go out on that ice to try to save the animal, and then we end up having to rescue that person. A situation Captain Johnson said he's responded to in his 14-year career, and it's training like this keeping the fire district ready for anything. In Johnston, Connor O'Neill, Local 5 News. And we just want to reiterate, of course, with these temp warming temperatures, it means you should be even more careful near or on frozen surfaces. The Department of Natural Resources says four inches of ice is needed to make ponds or lakes safe to walk on. For snowmobiling, five inches minimum is recommended. And eight to 12 inches is needed for cars to drive on iced over bodies of water.